Okay, guys, a uh, short video today. Um, let you get back to your holiday weekend. And last week or early this week, um, Steve from Shark River Machine uh, did a review on a you know a caliper you know available on a on Amazon. Um, I went ahead and I used his 10% uh, discount code. There is already another additional 6%, I believe, on it. So you use both discount codes. And they come out to like $20 and change. Now you can't even buy one of those at Harbor Freight or Chinese places, you know, that sell all this stuff. But, and it, it came in... It came in a day. I ordered it in the morning and it came the next day. I really like it. It does it comes with an extra battery and it is a larger battery, which I really I do like. It takes uh C R two zero three two battery. Three volt. It's a bigger one, so it should actually last longer. Come with a little cleaning rag and some little detailed you know paperwork but you know I like the big face on it I mean it, this one does travel in uh, its metric inch and fractional you know there's the you know the fractional you know metric And then we got the inch. So far, this thing has beat out any of my other Chinesium built, uh, you know, caliper. Uh, just to put it up against, this is my always my go-to. I found this at a um, a pawn shop. You know, there's the brand, I think, like Vince maybe something like that i don't know vincent v-i-n-c-n maybe i don't know but it's been around the block and it's been tossed in my um my my chip tray and just clean it up and this, this thing always seems to work and i do i trust this Um, another one here's this is another Harbor Freight one this is their 8 inch uh, it works I mean sometimes there's like a little bit of play in there seeing it bump thou and a half you know and I push it back it goes back to zero it's, it's I don't trust this near as much as I do any of them this one hardly ever gets used just because it, this thing can be a thou and a half off, and I wouldn't realize it unless I double checked with something else. So it does work. I, you know, I got a one-inch gauge block. You know, there, one inch. Now, see, depends on how much thumb, excuse me, how much thumb pressure you put on there. It's a half thou. You know, I can recheck it. You know, 9995 there. See, I just don't really trust this one to be. It's just all the feel in it and making sure that this wiggle that it has in it is, you know, solid up against the whatever I'm measuring. See, it does, it, it measures. I mean, if you're within. If you're only working within your thousands, I mean, this, it's fine. But I hardly ever get it out unless I have something over six inches to measure. And then sometimes I'll just use a, a rule or something like that. Um, but so far with the big face on this, and I mean, this thing, it is smooth. Uh this one here is a little smoother i mean it, this one's buttery smooth here this one's 
it doesn't make noise but uh, there is some stiction to it but it it's it's pretty smooth this here is sound feels like it's running through a sandbox uh, these harbor freight ones here uh, the Pittsburgh ones um, I do like these I keep these on every machine just because these these are I can I trust these I don't know why, but the, they you gotta basically open up the box and see which one's in it, because you could get one like that looks like that. Harbor Freight sells depends on the box and the the number. You need to know the numbers, but they'll have both of these in a six inch. This happens to be the eight inch, but they do have both, and I don't like this one. This one here is much better. And it also does metric, inch, and fraction. And you can see I got two of them, and the battery's, battery's going down in this one. I kind of have to turn it sideways to kind of see the... But, it, you know, it's... This one was over on the lathe, so it's a little dirty. But, yeah, one inch. I mean, I trust these right here. But they're not buttery. Um, you can hear it here. Hold. That's what these sound like. Uh, here, here's this one. Not near as loud. This one here. It sounds like an ice skate, you know, rank. I mean, you can hear it, but it it's, doesn't sound like it's running through a sandbox. This one here. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that's, that's slick, and this repeats the zero every time so far that I've, I've done anything on it. One inch, one inch, you know, and it goes back to zero every time. These other ones can be within, you know, they usually about a half thou off. Now, Harbor Freight sells this one. Uh, it's, it's a, probably a fiberglass reinforced plastic caliper only in thousands. It does metric and inch. But, and it's all plastic. Um, I keep this one oh, just in a drawer. Um, I had it in a toolbox for my electrical stuff so I could measure like a, a screw or a, you know, a wire gauge or just something that was, this was like six bucks. You know, I bought this two years ago and the battery's still good because this one actually shuts off and you kind of got to fiddle with the button a little bit but to get it to shut off and it does come back on when you do it but i have never changed the battery in this and it, and it still works great i don't know if its memory is not storing as much as what the other ones do why they go dead from not using them i don't know but You know, this one's within half thousandths, but it's not reading or it's within one thousandths. This one goes to 0.99 on measuring this, but it is plastic. Sure, I wouldn't, I've never used it to, to make anything with on the lathe or anything. It's just, it was six bucks. And I, and I throw it in a toolbox. But then last weekend, I found this Metatoya Absolute. It's old. Uh, the old guy said he used it for years and years and years. And this doesn't come on when you... So batteries last a long time in here, he said. 
so you actually have to push the button and it also has an origin I'm not quite sure how that works but I've seen videos on it but this thing here is like cutting melted butter this is so slick and smooth You know, and this this is this is dead on every time. So, you know, comparing a twenty dollar caliper to a hundred and twenty nine dollar caliper, uh, this Harbor Freight one is back when you had the the coupons and stuff, ten percent off. I mean, these were. When they were on sale with coupon, they were $9.99 uh, for these. The 6-inch, the 8-inch are like $25 in tax. Uh, I paid, I think I paid 8 or $9 for this at the pawn shop, and, and you know, and I like it. Yeah, this was like 6 bucks with the 10% discount code back when they had it. But then this one here. I do like it. I like that big face that it has on it. You know, and this thing back to zero every time. Of course, I haven't really got gotten into using it yet. <clears throat> so, I haven't got it dirty yet. So, I don't know how if it's going to stay that way or not. Uh, yeah, so get over and uh, head over and watch uh, Steve's channel, Shark River Machine, on that last video. Uh, there's a discount code in his uh, description. And then there's also a link to go to the uh, Amazon site and pick one of them up. Alright guys, um, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.